check it out. It's my corned beef and hash. Yo, unfortunately, I ran out of pepper. I usually like to put pepper on my uh, eggs. Eggs came out fantastic, though. Look how what, look how over easy they look. What? Yo, your boy's a problem in the kitchen, not nah, man. Corned beef and hash, you're looking fire. Especially with the peppers. Like, you see the bell peppers, like, right there? Let's see if we could find some onions. I did. There we go with the onions right there, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a fire-ass fire looking dish. I'm trying to think what I could have did better. Alright, the way I did it is I made the corned beef for St. Patty's Day yesterday. And the leftovers I just cut up. Not, like, finely. Like, you see how some of them, it's like, they're not, like, thinly cut, which I wanted. And then I took the red potatoes, boiled them for probably five minutes. After they were done boiling, I took them off, let them... Let them dry out, and then I just popped them in the oven. Oh yeah, and the key, what I realized is I fil I flipped each potato by hand with a fork. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them, see like right here? Some of them I didn't flip, but I wanted a variety of them to look on point. So, here we are. Looks pretty good, if you ask me. Ain't nobody doing this on Instagram. People will go to restaurants. Well, I ain't gonna say it. ain't nobody doing it. If they do do it, this is what they'll be. They'll be like, easiest corned beef recipe. Follow it. Check it out. But they got production shit. I'm doing this shit in my fucking studio apartment. Keep it a thou out. You know what I mean? Actually in the trenches.